Sasha here from networknews.com. We're still at the IFA in Berlin and finally made it over to the Toshiba Hall after we already had our first hands on with the new Toshiba Touch E, uh, or John E Touch tablet, that's the real name. Uh, we can finally see it in a different environment over here and see some user scenarios. Because Toshiba was also launching their media center and the John E Touch tablet is a part of it. As we told you already, um, it's a 7 inch uh, system which comes with a 2200 milliampere lithium ion battery. Oh no, it's a polymer battery, sorry about that. And uh, I think we kind of have to correct uh, our playback times on this from our first video. That means um, it's up to seven hours when it comes to music playback, and it's up to two hours when it comes to video playback, and up to two hours uh, when you're surfing the internet over Wi-Fi. Um, this one gigabyte of internal memory but uh, with the SDHC card slot, you can upgrade it to 32 gigabyte. Um, the two speakers are having a 0.5 watt, and this is an ARM 11 core at 533 megahertz. And again, it's running on Windows CE, has an Internet Explorer 6.0 as a browser, and also, also comes in different colors, as you can see. Aluminum, black, ivory, chocolate, plum, ice, and cherry. So Toshiba has a huge lineup over here. So that this little tablet um, fits the specific taste of its customers. But as I said already, it's a part of an ecosystem, a media center ecosystem. So therefore, of course, we have a little cradle point that is connected to this TV set over here over an HDMI cable. So um, let's just get it in here. There we go. So it's just asking me if I want to switch over to the display of the HDMI device. <laughs> and there we go. You have it immediately on your screen. And Toshiba is shipping it with a little remote control, this cradle point. And as you can see, you can just uh, maneuver through... Oh, sorry. Here we go. Through the menu with OK you immediately get over to the sub-menu and then you can just choose whatever you want, right? So here we go, we have Flickr pictures here. So I think you guys are getting it. But what I also want to show you a little bit about the applications that Toshiba got onto this system. Let's wait for a second until it's getting back. So I'm coming back to the home screen. And we just found out something new. Look what is over here. Toshiba Virtual Store. That means Toshiba is also providing an app store. Let's get in there. We are online right now over 3G. So Toshiba Virtual Store is a complete app store for applications, music, photos and videos. So let's check out what kind of applications we can see over here. Look, we have all, uh, organizers, my recipes, weather channel, Facebook application. But well, at the moment, it's pretty fundamental because, well, they need to start somewhere. They just launched it. It's a version 1.0. So uh, just a couple of applications that you can then uh, download onto your device. Over here is a weather channel application. And uh, we can also download music. See? Or you can also download videos. So let's take a look how these applications can look like. What I really like is, uh, because it's a different user scenario, is my recipes. 